Hi guys, welcome back to my XVS guide. Now I'm gonna do what you have been asking me, okay? Which character you should get from your collaboration ticket. So I will group this into priority, okay? And remember, this is simply my opinion. So if you are disagree, you need you don't need to have guidance, then feel free to choose anyone you want, okay? So my first priority here is the free seven stars characters you can get and they are almost or already a meta characters. So let's start from Adam Jensen, okay? So Adam Jensen, I think you should pick him if you have missed Kimari, okay? Because Kimari has that two physical AoE evasion which is really useful for Chocobo Battalion battle. So if you want to cheese that battle and you don't have Kimari, then Adam Jensen is your answer. And if you have or like gun user, then I think obtaining his STMR is totally worth okay? because yes, you you can get 50% tech boost by equipping his STMR cloth, okay, but that's only possible if you have another 7 stars version, okay? But I don't recommend you to use the STMR Moogle on him, okay? And of course, if you don't like the cheese tactic for Chocobo Battalion or you say, I don't need Kimari, I can defeat Chocobo Battalion just fine without 2 AO physical evasion, then definitely do not pick Adam Jensen because really guys, he is not meta DPS at this point, okay? So the next character is like you can see Rena. So pick her if you don't have top tier healer or buffer. I I say or because he can become both. I mean she can become both. She is really good and wow, pretty amazing. Okay, and you if you also want to have alternative for your buffer and healer, then Rena is a good character. But Think about it, okay? If you really have top tier buffer and healer like Dr. Aiden, Sylvie, Uriza, then you may don't want to pick her. Okay, she's great, totally great, awesome, and I totally recommend her for you. But again, if you don't need her, then don't pick her, okay? Because there are other characters you may want to get and i think her stmr i know some of you have said that her stmr is good but i don't like it okay it's a matter of preference because for spirit boost i have two aries choker and for ailments resist i have lots of ribbon and i can give ailments resist buff on the battle so i don't think i need her okay but it is up to you now, the next character is Tubi. So, pick her if you don't have top tier breaker. What do I mean by top tier breaker? That means if you don't have a character who able to break 74% constantly, okay? Then definitely it is worth to pick her. But yeah, you also able to you also want to pick her if you want to have amazing machine killer, but I think that's kind of foolish. Okay, that's just my opinion, okay? And if you are fanboying her, yeah, it's all up to you, but yeah, I'm talking about... I simply state my view for this game, not for fun, fanboy or whatever. And definitely, if you already have Riku, let's say, Riku, I love him, and you use those as a breaker, then definitely do not pick her. Okay, like me, I have Riku, so... This is the last character I want to get from by using my free ticket. The second priority is not free characters. What do I mean by not free is their prism are not available on Trust Coin Shop. Okay, so Ellie. Ellie is really nice mage. Okay, her STMR is also good. So if you want to get her STMR, then I think it's perfectly okay to get her, okay? But I think if you need to have, let's say you want the best mage, then I think she is not the one, okay? There are much better mage out there. And especially on at this time, we also able to get Lizard Follet 
Lazard Follett is more powerful than her and yes the point is you cannot get her prism on the trust coin shop so you need to use omni prism if you need to use omni prism then it's better idea to use omni prism on Lazard Follett instead of her unless like I said you want to have her STMR but again if you have let's say Three Mistina, so seven stars with 50% STMR Mistina. Then you may just want to get Mistina, okay, to complete her STMR instead of getting LE STMR. And the next one is the Meta Top Tier Physical DPS Rico Rodriguez. So pick him if you want to have top five DPS physical characters. He is really nice and if you don't have top tier DPS character then it is good reason to get him okay you can save lots of lapis okay by using let's say Omni Prism and get use your ticket to get him but if you let's say have War Hero Regan like me Edward Elric then I must say do not your do not use your collaboration tickets because Yes, remember you still need to use your Omni Prism. Actually, if you can buy his Prism on Trust Coin, I can recommend him to you. But for now, it is not my priority, okay? Because I believe we're gonna get fourth anniversary and we're gonna get global exclusive unit, which is much much better than Rico. Okay. The third priority is the character which is useful at this point of the game. And there are only two characters, I mean, who don't get Abilities Awakening but are still perfectly usable at this point. They are Lizard and Mistina. Okay, these two characters are still perfectly good mage to be used at this moment. Okay, even when 4 win Fizzle is, is much better. Okay, and they are also good for Dark Vision because they have access to 3 elements. So, yes, very good. But, let's say if you don't want the S I mean if you search for the more powerful mage then go for Lazard but I must say Mistina STMR is pretty decent. I use my STMR Moogle to get it but for now I I don't think I will get the second one okay you can get the second one simply by yeah get Mistina use Omni Prism use your 100 percent super trust mastery word Moogle but I won't do that okay so those are the characters on your third priority now the last priority whoa it is a character who is who are not meta they are kind of totally outdated and i must say kind of useless at this point of the game okay but yes maybe you want to get them because for the first four characters a2 fate Sofia and Victor Marchenko, their prism are available on Trust Coin Shop. What? What mean? What's the meaning? That mean you can get their STMR easily. And I must say, the STMR, hmm, they are good. But I think the best STMR for these four characters is Fate. Fate STMR it is insanely good okay for sword users it gives you 50% attack and there are many characters who use sword as their main weapon that means you can save one ability slot for killer to inflict more damage so yes if you want if you don't mind let's say if you don't need healer if you don't need whatever and you want to have STMR and ready to use 100% STMR Moogle ticket then I must say go for fate because his STMR is amazing for other characters STMR I must say they are kind of mediocre okay again don't hate me it is my opinion okay Sim if you think A2 STMR is good then go ahead get that but I think yeah it's kind of restricted okay because I can find 80% 70% attack boost without needed required to equip certain weapon great sword is common weapon but i think it's better to get riberta stmr instead of this one yes i know it has uh, machine killer 
but I think it's kind of niche, so it is up to you. But my favorite for these four characters is Fate. For Sophia, remember that magic plus 50% only works for her, not for other mages. So for other characters, it is only 60 magic and 60 spirit and fire resist plus 30%, not that good. For Victor Marchenko, yes, it seems amazing, 80% defense, totally insane, but I think for a tanker you also need health boost, so I think I I prefer to pick like let's say Wandering Warrior where I can get defense, spirit, and health boost at the same time. And the total stats increase uh, worth more than 80%, right? If you equip let's say 40% defense, 40% spirit, 20% health, that's equal to 100% boost on your stats, okay? So yes, that's my advice for you. And there is also other characters who you cannot buy the prism. Don't have awakening. You can see this. The Senogears banner. Maybe in the future they gonna get their abilities awakening. But for now I must say their STMR are not good. Except for Fate. Fate cast is same like Fate. His STMR is insane if you have fist user characters. 50% attack. Wow, amazing. But for other characters, they are kind of bad. Maria, woo. What? Only 60% magic boost and LB regen, if I'm not mistaken. For Bart, it is 60% attack with fast LB fill rate. Not bad, but yeah, we have 80% attack boost. So why you stick with 60%? I don't think it's a good idea to get his STMR. For Sitan, whoa, Sitan STMR. It's kind of like Xeno STMR, so I don't think you should pick for this. Okay, so that's my recommendation for you guys. Okay, I believe you can pick. I have uh, put the reason you should pick or shouldn't pick for the character, so I believe you can decide it for yourself. But for me, for me, okay, I think I'm gonna pick for Rena. Okay, so I'm kind of um, still undecided. I, I'm 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 gonna pick between Rena or maybe Fate or Faye. Actually, I have Faye for his STMR. I mean, I have seven stars Faye. So if I get another Faye and use Omni Prism, I can get his STMR. But yeah, I probably wouldn't do that. But at this point, I think I'm gonna use my. Uh, Free tickets for Rena. I have Adam Jensen, I have Ellie, so I don't I can care less about those characters. And for STMR, I don't need Heli STMR because I already have Mistina. So for me it's Rena. Okay? So tell me what you guys pick for this free collaboration ticket. Thank you very much for watching. Please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more Final Fantasy Brave X Guide. Bye bye guys!